Hello friends! At the beginning of 2017, Kabul municipality was recognized as the starting point for extensive changes in the city with attractive promises about the construction of metro buses that will transform Kabul into one of the most advanced cities in Afghanistan. But now, in the last days of 2023, what is the situation? In this journey, we get to know the promises of changes that were given in the past and the contradictions that have arisen during these few years. Has the Kabul municipality advanced to its promises or is it on a different path? Join us to discover these secrets and complexities and see if the city of Kabul has achieved the reality of the changes it promised or not. Kabul is one of the busiest cities in Afghanistan. The Afghan government announced in 2017 that 111 kilometers of Metrobus road will be built in Kabul city. The first phase of the construction of the Metrobus line started in 2017, which connects the Day Afghanan region to Sarai Shamali. The distance between Day Afghanan and Sarai Shamali is 8 kilometers and the first phase was supposed to be completed and put into operation by next year. The second phase of the construction of this line was supposed to start after the completion of the first phase. That work spanned three years. It was supposed to be 111 kilometers of Metrobus line in all the crowded parts of Kabul city. Connect Day Afghanis, North Sarai, Dar Alaman, Dasht Barchi, Kot Sangi, Karte Nu, Kotal Kair Khana, in the second stage of the construction of this line, Kabul municipality will decide whether the area of Day Afghani will be connected to Darul Aman or Sarai North to Dasht Barchi. Why should the first metro bus be built on Day Afghan? North Sarai Road. Kabul municipality said that the easiest and cheapest way to build the metro line is when the road is under reconstruction. North Sarai Road and other major roads that are under construction or major reconstruction have the same privilege and are the best opportunity for Metrobus construction. According to the municipality, Sarai North Road as a connecting road between Kabul and 13 provinces has sufficient width for passengers, and this department had the budget for its construction. Also, according to the investigations of this department, Sarai North Road is one of the most suitable routes for the construction of Metrobus line. This Metro line will be built on Dasht Barchi Road and some other areas when the construction of roads starts. On a road that does not need to be reconstructed, building a subway line is the most expensive action for this department because it is necessary to demolish and reconstruct a part of the road. Kabul municipality said that after the construction of the Metrobus line is completed, this department will purchase Metrobus. In terms of capacity, there are three types of Metrobuses, 90 passenger, 150 passenger, and 250 passenger in the markets, which Kabul municipality is working on its master plan, and later, it will be decided which type of these Metrobuses to buy. Kabul municipality will purchase those metrobuses that are available in the markets of China, India, and Iran. This department decided to sign a memorandum of understanding with an international company for 10 years after purchasing the metrobuses, which will monitor these metrobuses and repair them in case of problems. The work system of these metrobuses is activated next to the table on both sides of the road, for which a separate lane is reserved for which no person or other vehicles can pass. According to the survey of Kabul municipality, the width of each side of the table for Metrobus is 3.5 meters. On both sides of the road, about 7 meters, it was intended for the passage of Metrobuses. A specific traffic light was intended for the passage of Metrobuses on the route of each intersection. It was supposed to create a station for these Metrobuses on every road table, where passengers can board these Metrobuses from any station and pay their fare through tact. Kabul municipality said that the estimated cost of each kilometer of metro bus line is about $2 million, and the price of each metro bus is $200,000. The budget for the construction of these metro buses was supposed to be paid from the development budget of Kabul municipality. Kabul municipality had started to build the metro bus line in Kabul city, while still many areas of Kabul city do not have asphalted roads. Now that we are at the end of 2023, 
Where did the Kabul municipality, which started the construction of the first Metrobus line in Kabul city in 2017, and the former mayor promised that by the end of 2017, two Metrobus lines will be established in the congested areas of Kabul city. But now that nearly eight years have passed since this promise, not only has a Metrobus line not been activated in Kabul, but there is no news about its special facilities or road either. But the construction project of Kotel Kare Khanna Road in the north of Kabul city is a big construction project that deals with the development and improvement of traffic and regional connections. The work has started and is ongoing. This project is divided into two main parts. First part. The current part of the road is under construction and reconstruction and is 3,710 meters long and 27 meters wide. This road leads from North Sarai Chauk to Kotel Kare Khanna Bazaar. The infrastructure and earth body of the parts of this road have been completed and are currently in the asphalt stage. The contracted company is engaged in a work to increase safety during work and spraying water to prevent pollution during the passage of vehicles. Kotel Kair Khanna Road is mentioned as a transit route and connecting point between 14 northern provinces of the country and its construction and development is considered one of the important priorities of Kabul city. The construction work of the second part of Kotel Kair Khanna Road is also underway. This section is designed according to the needs of Kabul city for development and growth in 2023. The second part of this road will be built from North Chak Sarai to Bazaar Kotel with a length of 3,710 meters and a width of 27 meters. This section includes sidewalk networks, retaining walls, reputation, lighting, marking on the road, stations, lines, and installation of traffic signs and other details of a standard road. Kotel Kare Khanna Road is considered as a transit route and connecting point of more than 14 provinces in the north of the country and plays an important role in regional and national communication. According to the new design of the road, the graves have been moved to the southern areas of Kabul city during the construction of this road. This project, as one of the major urban development projects in Kabul, improves regional communication and facilitates the movement of urban population and surrounding areas. Thank you for watching.